welcome back everyone to another video and in this one we'll be taking a look at another operating system that's created by just a single person now this is called sky os uh, it never really got out of beta and neither was it ever open sourced but with that said sky os is a very uh, well designed operating system from a graphical and an architectural standpoint and of course much 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 better than the last one we re reviewed that's the temple os so sky os was actually a very commercial commercially and professional minded operating system sadly it was paid while it was in development uh, after a few years back in 2013 uh, the developer decided to give it away give the binaries away for free but of course not the source code as far as i know so let's go ahead and take a look at sky os beta 6947 build now you can see um, i have to enter a serial key because it was once closed source and you actually had to pay and buy the uh, even the beta builds which a lot of people were doing actually back in the day when this was still running so apparently it was a fairly good project that went on for 10 years and then just died off so let's go ahead i actually have the uh, public key in on my phone the public serial key and what i can do is just log in it so the website sadly does not open up anymore uh, I'm guessing it got shut down or it was abandoned but for the time being uh, I will link down in the description an archive of the ISO that you can go ahead and find as well as uh, the key all right let's go in and see what's all about uh, and we have the admin user so this is a live boot right now we are going to go ahead and install it so we are logged in so the sky os is sort of um based on c hash and a bunch more things a lot of uh, linux linux based i won't say but a lot of gnu applications or gnu based open source applications like fire uh, firefox that you can see on the screen right now thunderboard blender and all of the some more stuff were open sourced uh, back in the day uh, were uh, ported to this uh, operating system back in the day and um, that's about that so let's go ahead and uh, try to install it all right so let's open up a terminal and do the standard u name a and that turns out to be sky os sky host 5.0 beta and uh, apart from that there's not much to it all right so we'll go into the operating system once the installation is done uh, so language is English that was already there and the keyboard is also there so next uh, so release notes known issues and some of the sky uh, setup information so they are calling it skyfs but it was uh, i think a fork of bfs license i agree oh good so at least 1500 megabytes of free space that should do us just fine and yes done and are we installing everything yes we are so let's go to next and that is being installed all right looks like the installation is done so let's go ahead and uh, you know install the bootloader so let's install into MBR and it can take up to one minute again so actually the installation time did was pretty long but nevertheless and then let's go into next please remove the CD and press OK to reboot so let's go ahead and do just that so 
so this initialization sequence that just came up uh, that feels very reminiscent of uh, something that we can see in let's say KDE or something that we see in Haiku when that boots up so yes I'm out of the full screen mode for some reason my video capture device doesn't really like full screen mode and I am guessing that's because of the NVIDIA GPU drivers so anyways uh, let's get back and uh, we have admin and we have test let's just go and log in as admin now so I think this is sort of the file system stuff now from the uh, material that I have read about this operating system it has a SQL based um, indexing method so I guess it's doing that and just uh, you know indexing all the all the files and all the text there is on it so while that is being done we can still use the operating system now there are tips and tricks and there's a software store and whatnot but let's cancel that out let's go into programs and open up the software store I don't think there is much available uh, everything there is is installed uh, and it says unable to get to the repository because the skyos.org or dot com website whatever that is is not working all right so this little widget right here it's called a uh, skyos monitor and i guess you can just add little graphs all over the place to pretty much man uh, see everything that's happening in the background there is IRC client uh, we have VNC clients uh, and uh, browsers as well as Mozilla Thunderbolts and Blender 3D so this should be interesting you can actually go ahead and create your own Blender models uh, I have obviously never done that before so let's see if we have something um already existing which i don't see it so we are just going to close that for now but um if you want to see 3d stuff there is there are demos for opengl and sdl both of which do run on the sky os so let's just run them all one by one so this is called flurry and kind of a light show there there is a gear so this is the just gfx gear way more complicated i'm just going to leave them running and uh, there is morph so as you can see it's i don't know how well this is being represented on the screen recording but uh, if the window is fairly stable it runs very fast and once i you know just move start moving it around it actually slows down and I'm guessing if I close the uh, gear train simulation uh, it will actually speed up even more as it just did so that's that and um, sphere and um, teapot is another one of the sort of benchmarking classic so as you can see how both of them are now just slowed down and then I can close that up and the other one sort of speeds up so alright so we are back after a crash uh, let's go on with the OpenGL demo Teen teapot um, H is toggle help arrow is you can move the camera around it's not very smooth the FPS are is okay but i'd be expecting more but i'm guessing everything is software rendered for obvious reasons and then we can increase the velocity with a and decrease with z i think that's the camera and not the rotating velocity of the teapot itself but nevertheless moving on we have terrain uh it's actually not that heavy the uh, terrain example in something like GL Mark 2 
is extremely resource uh, resource hogging but this one's just fine it's working okay and demos more 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 there is tunnel oh wow. okay and then there is coming to the end wave so that that was open gl there is also sdl based um demos as well as sdl open gl demos so you can see it's actually spinning really fast and that's about that's the demo so i'm not going to go through all of those as well but we have a couple of games and we are going to play them minesweeper we have this com vm emulator uh sky Tetris, transport tycoon deluxe Foo Billiard, Egg Chess, and Air Strike. So let's try out Air Strike. So yes, of course, these are the games that, like, we have played before. Well, I mean, at least I have played before, and they aren't. I mean, it's it's a fire. It's an okay game, but that's about it. At least it runs. It's again uh, comparing to uh, temple os this is just a super well made operating system when you uh, consider it's almost a single person with a couple of people helping around all right what more do we have uh, billiard so uh, the Frames are terrible right now, and I'm not sure how they expect us to play the game. And you can see just skipped there, so I am going to close this game as well. So let's go and take a look into something way more interesting. This is the uh, system manager for SkyOS. It gives us a lot of devices and uh, other nitty-gritty details that are in the um, operating systems so credits actually uh, for the for all the open source applications that have been used uh, and then we go into device so system devices interrupt control and everything else would be emulated uh, communication devices the serial port processor this is the actual processor i'm currently running on the uh, vm with hardware virtualization so it's the exact processor with just single core uh, right now because one of the core is actually doing the host operating system so graphics and video devices this is a generic graphics device from uh, virtualbox networking uh, does so networking device i don't know why it's not really working that well and uh, well that's most of the good stuff display is uh, vesa compatible all the applications gestures and themes so this is a, a windows like ui that we can apply I'm not sure why it's not working uh, nope so the theme application is not really working right now that's fine uh, let's move on image editing we have pixel image editor another one of the uh, linux compatible application office not much there is pdf viewer but uh, i was expecting some word documentation stuff text processing is uh, skypad so this is i guess more like notepad so the theme did change just didn't change over here so i guess if i log out and log back in it should have changed all right guys so that was about it i don't really want to make this video a whole lot longer uh, i do encourage you to go ahead and try this operating system it's Closed source, I know, but uh, it's still a lot of work for a single person and a few volunteers. Uh, although it was developed uh, over a period of 10 years, and uh, I actually really enjoyed using this, especially after that whole thing with the Temple OS. And um, yeah, so I mean, uh, like the video if you liked it, uh, subscribe and let me know in the comments what 
sort of more videos you want to sh see of course they will be all during the weekends so saturdays and sundays is the usual time i am going to upload more videos hopefully a bit more regularly thank you so much for watching and i'll see you all in the next one